prosecution witness took the stand today in the case against Pete Beck. The ex-state representative was indicted following a local 12 investigation that looked at his connection to a huge securities fraud case. Some investors say they lost their life savings because they believed in Beck's credibility. Local 12 is covering this trial as part of our commitment to holding people in power accountable for their actions. Rich Jaffe says today Beck's own words are now coming back to haunt him. The final witness against Peter Beck could be the most damning of all, Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation agent Rick Ward. One of Beck's recurrent defense arguments has been that he wasn't really the chief financial officer for a bogus company called Christopher Technologies. That argument was refuted over and over again by his own sworn testimony. Line 20, question, okay, what companies are you, officer, director, or an employee? Answer, at Donahue and Cup and Beck, I was owner and the audit manager. Okay, any other companies presently? Presently, answer presently, yeah, at Christopher, Christopher Technology CFO. According to the Attorney General's office, Beck lied dozens of times to investigators. In addition to the 29 other charges, he's facing 10 felony perjury charges as a result. So every lie could cost him. For example, under oath, Beck told investigators his CFO business cards were prepared when the company president asked him to fly to London to help close a deal with Carnival Cruise Lines. Is that a true statement? No. And why is that a false statement? Because the trip to London was late May of 2008 and the business cards were prepared in July of 2007. As a result of his indictment and lawsuits, Beck did major damage to an accounting firm where he was briefly a partner. Earlier in the day, his attorneys tried to get one of the partners of that firm to back off their explanation for his termination. Isn't it true Mr. Beck was fired as a result of the lawsuits? Mr. Beck was fired because we could not trust him. That's why he was fired. Pete Beck was not some lowly CPA that got involved in a con. When we investigated him and he was subsequently indicted, he had been the mayor of Mason, he was a sitting member of the Ohio House, and he was the head of the Ways and Means Committee. That's the committee that controls the state's finances and budgets. So if indeed he was corrupt, sitting in those positions, he could have done a lot of damage to people all across the state. In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammie? All right, Rich, thank you. Beck's trial is now in its ninth week, and there are no indications yet if his attorneys will put on any defense witnesses.